Good morning, modern steaders. The pigs heard us. I see them coming out. You guys want some breakfast? Not sure where the crazy white chicken's hiding this morning, but I know she's out here somewhere. Figure out, do you know where the crazy white chicken is? I hear you, Willow. I hear you. Good morning. Hope, you're not supposed to get in there. It should be too big by now to fit in. You gotta come out. Come on, little pea. You coming out? Come on out. Yeah. You too, little man. Come on outside. We'll let mom back in when we're done milking. Yeah. Figure out we made this area for the goats, not you. You ready for milking, Willow? Oh, Buttercup and Blossom, you gotta get out. Come on, get out. getting a lot of people asking us lately when we're gonna stop building the barn. The whole process so far has all been part of building the barn. Trying to do the right preparation and site work for our area. So when we do get started, we're starting correctly. But that being said, today we should be starting to lay the first six by six post for the barn. We opened up the barn kit yesterday and we started bringing down some of the lumber from the kit from Jamaican cottage shops. I was very impressed with everything. This is gonna be a great build. I am excited myself to start building. I'm trying not to over rush it. And we also do have a lot of other stuff going on at the farm at the time. So it's managing everything. Good job, Willow. Let's go see your babies. Go for it, quick, get in. Good, get in, get in, get in. Follow mama. There you go. They say, I hope you left some for us. We're thirsty too. Willow actually left the other goats a little bit. Willow left you something today. I knew old CWC had to be somewhere. I just filtered Willow's milk and she's been holding steady at two and a half cups of milk for us a day. And that's with being separated from the baby goats for nine hours. So I'm really happy with that. Soon we'll be weaning the goats completely off of Willow. Another week or two, I think. Today is the meat bird's last meal. Tomorrow we'll be harvesting the meat birds. So we'll be having quite a few pounds of chicken in the freezer soon. We'll have to weigh the birds and see what our average weight is. Some of them are looking huge. Come on guys. the chickens over here this morning. They haven't really worked this stretch of grass yet. On in moose. Those meat birds look good or what Pluto, huh? They are big. Last night we set up some Premier One poultry netting for a run out here for the goats. Let's open this up and let the goats out while we're working down here this morning. Turn the fence on. I love the gate that they make. Makes it so convenient for using it with the goats. 
Can't jump on it there. Hope a dope. You're not gonna go out? I know you will. Your goat's coming out. Come on, Hope. What are you doing? Come on out. Look at all the grass. You coming out, Hope? Nope. Hey, that tractor's not yours, dude. Nope, it's not yours. Today I want to install the 6x6 sill plates that come with the barn kit from Jamaica Cottage Shop. I put down some 2x6 sill plates. I didn't do the front ones because I'm not exactly 100% sure what the length is yet on either side. This right here are the plants for the sill plates. It's telling us this is the size of our gravel bed. This is the size of our concrete or whatever slab we are building on. And then these are the part numbers that we need for each one of our sill plates. So we're gonna need one of those, or two of those, one for here and there, one for here, this part number for here, and then these two front sill plates are this part number. So once we have them, we'll cut our two by six sill plates to length, and then we'll have our opening that we need. I hope that makes sense. It will once we get everything down here. You decide to come out, I see. It is supposed to rain again today, so it's gonna be interesting to see how far we can get before the rain comes in. told is Jamaica Cottage Shops build these pallets and stacks the bundles as the way you're gonna need them and it looks like that's right on we got our six by sixes right here on top I'm gonna have a link in the description down below for Jamaica Cottage Shop and the barn that we're building and there's also gonna be a promo code down there if you use the promo code you'll get 10% off a purchase before the end of this June so it's coming up Dominic the owner of Jamaica Cottage Shop was very nice when we were there doing the factory tour he gave me a promo code to share with y'all for 10% off any order you make before the end of June 2019 they put this netting on so that the lumber can breathe so in our case we weren't able to get building this right away it sat out here for a few months the lumber can breathe it's not gonna get all mildewy and they put plastic on top to keep the water off the very top of it and we can unstaple. But I'm not throwing away this plastic. We're gonna use this as coverage as we're building. All right, so everything is strapped nicely. Let's see if we can get this water off. Don't get wet. There we go. Try to keep most of the water off of the lumber. You got a little wetness, but not bad. Some of our rafters with the bird mouth notches cut in. So these are our short pieces right here that we need to make up in our two by sixes this morning. Ah. I love how they have everything wedged together so nicely. And you know what's even better? It's all the scrap pieces of lumber. So it's all these pieces. So nothing goes to waste or gets used up that doesn't need to get used up. We had our property log about a year ago now and talking with Dom, he was saying that, believe it or not, some of the pine logs that came off of our property could be in this barn kit. They buy all of their lumber from the New England area. We have all of our labels right here of which sills they are. There we go. Use the trailer to our advantage.
<laughs> I love it. Look at Figaro, you're a foolish cat. Oh my goodness, dude. <sighs> that cat cracks me up. All right, so we're gonna have to look through the bundles. I almost think next we gotta open up this bundle and our four by four posts are down here. So that's what that's looking like, because this is going to be rafters, more two by rafters, I'm assuming siding, rafters, and then these are our four by four upright posts that we're going to need next. So we'll have to offload that eave overhang. Let's strap it in again. I don't want to lose any loads. Now we can figure out which ones we need. We're gonna to want to put the sidewalls down first, but let's figure out the length of these and we'll cut our pressure treated two by eight into sections we need it and then we can get those bolted in place and then we'll be ready to go. Length is 41 even. Double check this one. <clears throat> 41 even. Okay, so we can cut two of them at 41.
place. I like that. I had to oblong out my hole a smidge. Flush here, flush there, flush there. First two pieces we're going to install are these ones. So we need the 18234. 18234, 19, 18234. I noticed that I have one of my anchor bolts that's sticking up above the pressure treated piece of lumber so we're going to have to take care of that now. Mark this one, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. There we go. Lines up good guys. Just gotta figure out where we'll have to put a piece of string and figure that out, how the bow and everything works. And then I don't know if this six by six is bowed or if this two by is bowed, but we'll get that all straightened out and figured out as we work it. Now that I have the main 6x6 sill plate post down, I want to check and make sure everything is square. And if it's not, I'm going to make some small little adjustments now before I start screwing everything in place. Everything's nice and straight. We got a little kink in this two by six, which that's a bow we won't be able to get out. But we're nice here. That's gonna stay. So we can't do anything there. Here we're nice. And then we got another bow in this two six by six. So believe it or not, all the joints that we can adjust are already where they need to be. Okay. Since I know everything's straight, I'm gonna toenail. And that way I know nothing's gonna move. Because we are good. We're not gonna go excessive yet. Just because we don't have everything installed. Mm. 
now it won't move. This is going to be our longest beam. Oops. Told you to watch out for that, guys. There we go. Watch your fingers. All right. All right, let's put this on. Get this set in place. And then we're gonna check for square. And give us a more accurate reading with these setting in place. To see if we gotta make any final adjustments. Check this side. All right, that side we're exactly thirty four. Push this tight. There we go. It's really nice to it. All the hardware comes in Ziploc bags. So when you're done, you can zip it back up and you don't have to worry about your screws falling out or your nails, I should say. It's still raining, but it's only sprinkling. Well, good thing I still brought my umbrella out. Good thing. The sun wants to come out. Okay. Who's gonna be the first one out to get some alfalfa for pellets? Nope, nope. nope. You think they grew since yesterday? Yeah. Look at them right in that feeder saying, hey, give me some alfalfa. Magnolia is like, nah, I'll have some milk. I'll take a milkshake. You know, like in the scratches there, little pea. Magnolia is going back. She ain't giving up. I got a big old bucket of leftovers in the house for you that I forgot. There you go. You're getting so long. Before you know it, you'll be filling out. Oh, I'm hoping the egg production's up today. Five again today. That's what we got yesterday. Maybe seven. We got five. It's getting better. A little bit better. Let's check the water. 
They have water. They got. They had rain coming out. All right. They're doing good. It could be a lot of the construction that's going on here. We have excavators running, concrete trucks. I mean, the list goes on and on, everything we've been doing around here. So it could just be all the noise and the commotion. Hopefully they get used to it soon because it's going to be going on all summer. I want to move the meat birds for one last time. Get them on some fresh grass, clean bedding. That way tomorrow when we go to harvest them, they'll be nice and clean. Man, look how big they are. They are huge. There we go. Fresh grass and fresh bugs for them. I want to leave you guys with a little pondering quote today. What is defeat? Nothing but education. Nothing but the first step to something better. Man, those are some powerful words. We never fail until we give up. Man, when we're in like the wrong mindset, we just got to change our perspective, change our way of thinking, and we can turn that day around, that moment around. So true. Oh, thanks, guys, for coming along on our journey with us. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. It's so exciting to be getting this barn going. I can't wait until we stop putting up the walls. It's going to be so much fun. The meat birds are getting huge. It's time to put those in the freezer, and we're going to have some delicious food to eat this summer and this winter. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.